Hi there, this is Scott Duffy, and we're continuing on with the frequently asked questions about the Azure 70 532 exam developing Microsoft Azure solutions. This is the third video, and the question today I'm going to answer is How difficult is the Azure 70 532 exam? Well, if you have development experience in Microsoft Azure, well, it might not be that difficult for you. About one half of the exam contains case study questions and the other half, more or less, are going to be plain up standalone questions. In the case study question, you need to read a lengthy scenario, sometimes over multiple tabs, and then you're going to have several follow-up questions about it. And then about half of those are going to be either multiple choice or drag and drop or select from a drop down or sort things in the correct order. And the other half are going to be fill in the coding, uh, which method is used for this, what's the property for this, enter the line of code that's missing, etc. The other thing that's tricky about this exam is that it covers all of the main programming languages that you can use with Azure. So you, there will be not only .NET questions in terms of C Sharp, but there's going to be questions that are relating to Java or Node.js or CLI, command line interface, or PowerShell, and things like that. So you do have to have a broad range of experience. The good thing is that the Azure SDK is pretty standardized across all of them. You're not going to see too much uh, difference in the naming convention between, for instance, the Java SDK and the C Sharp SDK. Now, the truth of it is, though, if you don't have a development background in Azure or a development background at all, you might find that a difficult challenge to overcome. I think whether you come from a development background or not, you do need um, to, to have studying for this exam. You should go through the SDK, the docs, um, if there's training materials to go through that. This is just to, to reinforce some of those knowledges because even if you're working with Azure on a day-to-day -day basis, you're probably only working with a small percentage of 25% of the available skills and so you need to, to fill in the rest. And I'm not just saying that because I actually have Azure training. I am on the Udemy platform and you can see that I have Azure courses, including on this 70-532 exam. I do have courses for absolute beginners. So if you've got no cloud experience, you can go and check that out as well. I've been teaching for over three years. I have over 65,000 students in total and around 40,000 students in my Azure courses. So hopefully you'll find something that you like. There's a link in the video description for you to check out. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time.